YouTube. 7.30, wake up with Jerry and Nick. It is spring out there. Today it's going to feel like summer. Um, high in the upper 70s, high near 80. Tonight it's going to be dark, low around 55. Tomorrow, high near 80 again. Friday it's going to cool off, mostly cloudy, low around 60. we got Roger Whitmore in here. He's the uh, chamber president of the Zion Chamber. And we've got uh, Jim Lowen in here. He's the store manager up in Piggly Wiggler. And they're trying to raise some money for to save the dome in Zion. This is a historic landmark, and it's been around, guys, forever. And uh, quite honestly, it looks a little shabby, Raj. Well, it does look a little shabby, and it, it got away from us. And uh, But we're going to bring that thing back to its original luster, we hope. And uh, like I said, we, we're getting checks in all the time. We, we're getting a lot of people coming in from Gurney and Waukegan. Kenosha. We had a guy from Kenosha send us in a check for 250 from Kenosha, which was very nice. I was Because he said he's lived in Zion many, many years ago. And uh, but we've received checks from all over the place, and it's kind of nice. We've got a guy, a barber out here in Gurney, Larry Street. I don't know if you know Larry Street. Hmm. Uh, Does he cut your hair? No. Okay. Uh, he used to, though. Oh, okay. He used to own a, a barber shop okay. up in Zion, not too far from the dome. See him again. Yeah. Uh, called the Old Sportsman's Barber Shop. You guys recall that one at all? Yes, sir, I do. Yep. And Larry uh, ran that with a, a guy named Claywon, and uh, did very, very well. Then he moved out to Gurney, and he's been out there ever since. But Larry kind of spearheaded the, you know, getting us off our rents to do this thing and uh, he's got us some money and he's got people that's donated time for painting and all sorts of things you had a question there buddy no you, producer you, wants roger well to twist roger the mic yeah your message is very important i want people to be able to hear you so if you could just get right up in that mic and just twist it there you go right yeah. in your face oh, that sounds, that there better. now we, now your voice is a lot just like you know. so nobody's heard anything i've said not a word no yes <laughs> they've heard no, you they've heard you all right so we're, uh, the dollar amount you're looking for is possibly forty thousand dollars well it'd be nice if we could get up to forty thousand dollars and i think we can pull this whole thing off uh how long do you think it'll take us to uh, raise this money for you guys well we don't know like i said if we could just get your listeners jerry uh, if they were all to just get out their wallets. Yes, sir. And, uh, and I don't know how many... This would be like a telephone. We got tens of listeners. But if you had like 20,000 listeners, send us $5. 35,000. How much would we think about to Jimmy? That's 100,000. Uh, a lot we don't more need, than we need. We don't need that much. Yeah, but if you had that much, you could do extra work to it. We, yes, we could. My there question then, Rod, is all right. right. We, we get the money. We're going to get it. Trust me. We'll, we'll get the money for you guys, and, and we're going to be out there Saturday to see if we can uh, help you guys out. Then what? The, then the project starts. Is there going to be somebody then to kind of take care of this so we don't have to do this again in 10, 20 years? Well, we'd like to have a fund set up, and uh, in the city, I, I had talked with the mayor, and they thought they could get a fund up that we would fund every year, whether it be 2000 2500 something like that so that we can go up there and just do daily maintenance or uh, weekly maintenance on sure it, just to check it out from time to time and if it needs to have paint we'll do paint and uh, whatever it's going to need we're going to have somebody take a, a look at that as time goes by but just try, try to keep it up it's easier to keep up than to catch up you know that, what I that's right mean? that's what she said yeah but you're right so i mean uh where is the dome if somebody doesn't know where the dome is they're probably idiots but for some of our listeners that don't know where the dome is where, where's it located well, it sits up on Sheridan 26th Street, right there in front of the, the nursing home up there, Sheridan Healthcare. Sure. And uh, and it's been there, well, that's the old location. Uh, right. Uh, where the health care center is now, that used to be the former location of the, uh, what was it called? Do you remember, Nikki? I mean, you're an old Zionite. Zionite. The entire facility, what was it called, the big building? I, we used to just call it the Zion Hotel, right? Okay, it was the Zion Hotel. I just didn't know if you guys knew that. Didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. But no, that's I didn't know if it had a proper name. I don't know. Yes, we Zion just, Hotel. That's what we're going to call it. It was the Zion Hotel. And what happened to that? They, it just kind of, they, they tore it down, but the, they, they kept the dome. Well, it went 78 years until they finally decided, well, you heard Nick say that they were going to put aluminum siding on it. At one point. imagine doing that. But. Right. Uh, they decided that uh, it was going to be too costly to keep that up. Okay. And back in 79, they uh, tore it down and saved just the dome itself. All right. All right. And, Jim, again, uh, we're, we're going to be doing, you guys have got a fundraiser out there this weekend. Again, uh, what time and the, and the location, sir? Uh, at the Zion Piggly Wiggly, 1030 in the morning till 230 in the afternoon. Um, Carryout's available. All right. And, and the sandwich is going to be a 100-foot sandwich out there? 100-foot sub-sandwich. Four inch pieces with a bag of chips and a drink for four dollars. Man, you can't beat that. And it's going on this Saturday. Uh, we're, we're doing Jerry's Garage Talk on Saturday from ten till noon. We do me a favor about every half an hour, forty five minutes. You guys call in, give give us the pig update, and find out where you guys are at I with that. I think we can do that, Jimmy. We'll call you guys. It's Jerry, Jerry. Roger. What I call you? Jimmy. Larry. Uh, 
We'll, we'll give you guys updates as we go throughout the day. Hey, you're that okay, Randy? And I appreciate you coming in here <laughs> today. Yeah. All right, you guys get out there. This is a good cause, man. This is part of our our history we up here. You, Randy. <laughs> we got to keep sure. it going. <laughs> this Saturday, from again, one more time, Jim. 10.30 to 2.30 on Saturday. All right. I appreciate you guys coming in. we got to check in with traffic with our own John John.